What's up everybody? So I just got a new skill. It's a pet skill. And uh, this is called Vampire Blow. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna begin by attacking a Yardie. And I wanna get hit. And after I get hit, I'm gonna clone. So you're gonna see that. We're gonna wait for that to happen. Now, unfortunately, the ninja that I'm party to just took the aggro, so I'm gonna have to raise my hate. And he attacks pretty fast. Okay, you saw that? So I got hit at 1,996, right? And I cloned. And now I have half the HP that I had before. And I got healed. Someone healed me. I couldn't even show you Vampire Blow, so just give me a second and let that happen again so that I can show you Vampire Blow. Alright, so my clones are gone. See, I got hit. So I'm gonna clone, and now I'm gonna use Vampire Blow. So each time I'm using it, I'm gaining 900 something HP back. Yeah, saw that? Here, 1,121 HP back. So, to give you a comparison, right, this is my heal. My heal gives me a thousand. Vampire Blow gives me about a thousand. But I also do three thousand damage as I'm doing Vampire Blow to the Yardie. So using Vampire Blow is much more effective than just using my heal. Um, or even using Soothe or Enrage. My Enrage heals at 400 and my hey, um, Soothe heals at 1000. I understand my Enrage is not max level, but it's still 1000. So if I had the chance to heal at 1000 and attack at 3000, why not do that instead? So with that said, Vampire Blow is very effective. Um, if you want to try it out yourself, by all means, if you have a servant like this, uh, but, you know, this is not the only class it works for. It will probably work for assassins as well, because assassins tend to get evade a lot, but they will get hit. And when they get hit, they need a heal, so that's where Vampire Blow will come in. So as I'm fighting him, right, I got hit, and I'm going to clone. I got hit twice, and now I'm going to try to steal back all the HP that he took from me. But I got hit again, so I'm gonna clone again. So this Yardie really is hitting me. Usually they miss all the time. So let me get all that back. And we're back to full life. And that's how you use Vampire Blow. And because it's a pet skill that I got, um, I don't have to switch sets to use it. So you can actually try to capture your own uh, pet. And, you know, hopefully you'll get pet skill that is Vampire Blow as well. So me using Highness Bless. And that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the additional pet skill called Vampire Blow.
you can always make it from an X tile as well. You don't need to get it from a pet. But it is better if you have it from the pet because you don't have to switch equipment to use it. Check you guys out next time.